Hello guys and welcome to a new Scratch tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to do a fidget spinner on Scratch. So this is what's going to look like when we're done. So when you click on the green flag, you could use a space key, you could use the mouse pointer to make it spin. So every time you click on the mouse, it's going to spin faster and faster. Okay. Let's go ahead and start. So the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to start a new project. So make sure you're signed in. If you didn't create a username or password, go ahead and create a username and password. They're usually on the main website here. Okay, let's say I'm signed out. You can just click join scratch here and fill up all the information needed. And then you can create your own account. So you'll be able to save your games. When you're done signing in, all you have to do is click sign in with your username and password and Press on create. Okay, so our project today is a fidget spinner. So I'm going to go here and title my project fidget spinner. And I'm going to go here and delete my cat. So the next step is we need our fidget spinner. So unfortunately, we do not have a fidget spinner on Scratch. So we need to go back here and we need to get this from the internet. So I'm going to go on the internet. I'm going to open a new tab. And I'm going to type Google. I'm going to go here and type fidget spinner picture. And if you'd like to be more specific, if you're looking for a certain color or you're looking for, you know, a certain shape, you can always search that here. Now your search. So I'm going to go ahead and click on images. And over here, you have all the pictures of these fidget spinners. The one we need is so what it looks like those. Okay, so I'm going to go down here and go ahead and pick one you like. So I'm not going to spend so much time doing this. I'm just going to pick, let's see this one. So I'm going to go here. <clears throat> and every computer is different. You need to learn how to download a new computer. On my computer, it's easier to download when you click on Control S. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Control S. And that will allow me to save it somewhere on my screen. So I'm going to go here and type on desktop. And I'm going to click save. And now my uh, fidget spinner picture is saving on my desktop. So all I have to do here is upload it on Scratch. So I need to go back to Scratch. And there's a feature here which allows you to upload. You're going to go move your mouse at the top of the cat. You're not going to click on anything. You're just going to move it in the top of the cat. And you will see this list of options. Once you go to the top here, it says upload sprite. Go ahead and click on it, and that will open a page on your screen. So let's say I pick this one. I'm going to pick my fidget spin. One problem might you might have is that you have this still you still have the background around it, and that's okay. It's not a big deal, and and it's it's not a big deal because we already have a white background. If you decided to pick a different background, you need to delete this background around it on the costume here. Click on the eraser. You can just keep erasing whatever you have in there. But since I don't want to change the background, I'm going to leave it white, it will be invisible. Okay, so I'm going to go here also and title my fidget spinner, fidget spinner number one. Okay, because I might add more. So I'm going to go here and title that and center it in the name. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do here, we're going to make this fidget spinner move. But before we do that, we need to create a variable here and we're going to create this variable speed. This will be basically the speed of my fidget spinner. So I'm going to press OK once you click speed, make sure for all sprites, and then we're going to click OK. Now, anytime you create a variable here, except maybe score and timer, you need to make sure you assign it. You need to make sure you define it. So speed here is useless. It doesn't mean anything unless you actually define this speed. What does speed mean? We don't know yet. You need to let Scratch know. You need to assign this to something on Scratch here. So in this case, speed will be the turning. I need my spinner to turn left and right, so I need speed to be the turning of my fidget spinner. So I need to go to motion, because since um, turning is part of the motion family, and we need to go to motion, and I need to pick. You have two options here. Option number one is turning to the right. Option number two is turning to the left. 
So if you want your spinner, when you spin, when it spins, it turns to the right, you can pick the right one. If you want it to turn to the left, you can pick the left one. I'm going to pick this one here. Okay, now I have my turning and I need to define my speed. So I need to go here and I'm gonna assign speed to turning. Now turn, or speed, I'm sorry, means turn. Every time you click on speed, it should turn. So we're gonna go here and click on the green flag. This is my hat block, I need to start with green flag because remember, when you click on the green flag, basically the game starts or the project starts. And you need to drag this inside forever. So what we did here is we defined speed. Speed now means turning. Okay, so Scratch is reading this and saying, okay, speed is defined or assigned to a turning. So every time he moves or changes speed, it will be turning. Okay, now we need to use an arrow key, for example, to move the spinner. So you gotta decide what, which arrow key you need to use to make the spinner spin. So I'm going to use when space keys pressed. So I'm gonna say when green flag is clicked, I'm gonna say forever because I want this to happen constantly. Every time I click on the space key, I want my spinner to spin. So I need to say forever and I need if then. This is my conditional statement. I need to say if key space pressed, then I need my spinner to change the speed. So I need to go here, say in sensing, and over here it says key space pressed. If you don't like using space key, if you don't think it's too handy to use a space key, you can always change it to any arrow key you have here, or you can use numbers, you can use letters. You have all the options on your keyboard, most of them. Okay, so let's say if I like to use up to make the spin, spinner spin, you can always use that. So I'm going to use a space key because it's the easiest way to do it. Okay, now every time I click on space key, I want my speed here. If you notice, my speed here is zero now. I need my speed, my speed to increase. So I need to make sure I change my speed by a positive number. So I'm gonna to go to variables and I'm gonna say change my variable. And instead of my variable here, I'm going to say change speed by let's say five or four or three, the number doesn't matter. Now, if you want your spinner to move, to, to, to move up or to, to move faster, you need to increase that number here to a bigger number. If you want it to move slower, you can make, make it one, two, three, and that will make it uh, spin slower. Okay, so now I'm changing the speed by five. Now, every time I click on the space key, my spinner is spinning. And you will notice here, it goes up by five. So if you, if I zoomed in here, you can tell that it's moving by five. Every time I click one time, it moves by five, okay? Since I'm pressing so many times, it's, it's basically increasing dramatically. So we need to go here. Another problem we have here is my spinner, it's kind of not centered. It's moving in a crazy way. So we need to make sure it's centered. How do I center my fidget spinner? Well, we need to click on costumes and you need to put it in the center here. So I'm gonna zoom out and it's not centered. That's why it's going in that direction. So the first thing we need to do is convert a vector. It should say convert to bitmap in the bottom. And I'm going to click on select and I'm gonna click on my fidget spinner. Once you click on the fidget spinner, when you click on select, you will see this little box which allows you to move your spinner anywhere you want. Now, if you notice here, we have a little plus in the middle here. This will determine the, or well, this is the center point. So I need to move my spinner to the center point. I'm gonna put it inside the uh, middle circle. Watch what's gonna happen when we do that. Look at this, now it's moving properly. The reason it's going nuts is because it's not centered. Look at this. So I need to make sure it's exactly on the center. Now it's moving properly. I need to go back to code. Okay, now every time I click on space key, my spinner is moving really fast. But here's a little bit of a problem. My spinner is not stopping or is not slowing down. You will notice here, the speed is 600 and stays at that way. We need to make sure we slow it down. Okay, let me go here and I need to show you something. I'm gonna go to the calculator. I need to show you something here. We're gonna do some math. Okay, now my speed is going fast. How do I decrease the number we have here? How do I make this number decrease? Now, every time, if, let's say we, the speed is 600. How do I make this 600 lesser? If you multiply 600 by a smaller number, a decimal point, for example, 0 0.99, for example, you will get 594. 
So we need to multiply the speed by a smaller number constantly to make it always go down or decrease the speed. So every time you multiply it by 0 0.99, for example, it's going to go down. Look at this, the number now is 588, it was 600 earlier. If you multiply it now by a smaller number again, it's going to go down again. So we need to make sure we're constantly multiplying by a small number. So we're going to multiply the speed by a small number. Step number one, we're going to go to operators and we're going to grab set my variable. And again, it's not called my variable, it's called speed. So I'm going to change this to speed. And it says set speed to zero. And that's why my, uh, my spinner here stops because the speed now is zero. I need to multiply speed by a small number, a decimal point, to make it slow down. So first things first, I need to go to operators. This is kind of a mathematical operators here. Uh, you have the uh, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and all these math, math, math that you need to do on scratch. So the one we need is a multiplication. So we need that third one here. It's a little star. Let me zoom in so you can see like the little star here. So we're going to multiply two things. So I'm going to multiply the speed by 0 0.98 or 0 0.99, a decimal point. So I need to go to variables and you're gonna grab the speed and put it on the first column here. And then you're gonna go on the second one and say 0 0.99. Now what this will do, it will keep multiplying by a smaller number here. It will, whatever the speed is, if it's 600, 700, it's gonna keep multiplying with 0 0.99 and it will keep decreasing. So every time you, it multiplies, it will keep decreasing to a smaller number. Look at this, until it reaches zero and then it stops. Look at this, 517. If we multiply it again by 0 0.99, it's gonna go down again, 564 and so on. So that's what we need to do. Once you multiply it by that small number, watch what's gonna happen. Now I'm gonna keep click on the space key. And if you look at the speed here, look at this, it's going down slower. If you look at the speed here, it's decreasing, see that? So if I click on the green flag and click on space key, I'm gonna click on space key. Every time I click on space key, it's going up by five. And if I let go, look at this, the number now is decreasing until it reaches zero and then your fidget spinner will automatically stop. Okay, see you guys in the next video. That's it for today. Bye.